In 2008, Speedo collaborated with NASA to make this, the laser racer. This suit was so cool. The fabric mimicked shark skin with these little channels that let water flow more easily. It had these panels that sucked swimmers' bodies into a more streamlined position. And people speculated that the way it trapped air made swimmers float more easily, which Speedo denied. But it was clear this new tech was helping swimmers crush world records. Athletes were doing things nobody thought was possible. It was awesome. You remember that Olympics when Michael Phelps won more gold medals than any human had ever won in a single Olympics ever? He was wearing a laser racer. Is that fair? This new suit made the swimming world lose their minds. The general manager of the US team said the records shouldn't count. So should this fancy super swimsuit be allowed? Within a year, the swimming governing body voted to ban them. The swimmers you see at the Olympics now are wearing suits made with only textile fabrics that can only cover this much of their body. I feel mixed about that. We can't see well underwater and our skin isn't textured like sharks, but goggles are allowed and these swimsuits aren't. But on the other hand, we don't allow flippers. There's a line somewhere. It's just not always obvious. Like prescription lenses in Olympic shooting. Okay or not okay? If you said okay, the regulators agree with you. Olympic shooters are allowed to wear prescription lenses. They can correct their vision. They just can't enhance it. Or how about this? Sticky glue that makes it easier to catch a football. Okay or not okay? The NFL said not okay, but grippy gloves are fine. I love these questions because they get at what we think the whole point is of both sports and technology. And of course, it's so messy. But the messiest of all is the debate about running shoes and a record that was supposed to be impossible to beat.